I'm a little concerned for Benzino. I'm not going to lie. He's had a rough couple of weeks, months, life, rough, rough life. I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if I've, I've, I've gotten all of the facts together. It just, there's so much happening to Benzino on a daily basis that I honestly can't keep up with it. One of the latest things that we've seen is Benzino is, is challenging 50 Cent to a boxing match. So let's, uh, I guess we'll watch that really quick. 50, you're talking all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Benzino wants to step in the ring. The Stodos right there. You know what I'm saying? And Listen, man, you want to be a man about things, man. Step in the ring because that's what men. Boring. Now, Benzino is you know, he's a decent sized guy, but so is 50. And 50 was like an amateur. But I'm pretty sure he would piece Benzino up, especially the way he was punching in that video, bro. I don't know what is going on in this world. Now, before this, I had come across some tweets. They've been deleted, but we're going to pop them up. You can see all sorts of stuff pop up over here. But. I guess there was this back and forth, people saying Benzino was dating a trans woman, so on and so forth, and he is so upset with the fact that people think this might be true. He's literally threatening to kill the trans woman if they don't come out and say to the public that they've never met in person or whatever it is. I just po posted it up over here. I, bro, wild stuff. Like, I, it's just, it's crazy that, like, your perception of reputation is so important to you that the fact that some random people on the internet might think that you dated a trans woman, which, if you did, who the fuck cares? Like, just you live your life. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you're so upset by it that you're willing to, to say, I'm going to commit murder. I'm going to kill you because these people think this about me and you won't prove me. You won't prove me right. That's wild to me. That's wild to me. I don't know if it's true, not true. I don't care. I really don't care. I, you know, it's just like, I, I don't know. It's, this dude is, is wild. But anyways, all of this has been going on. He had the situation. We just did a video where his wife, he, he, or I guess it's not his wife, his ex-wife. They're not together right now. But she's sleeping with some other dude. He's outside bugging, blah, 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 blah. I, got, I probably got arrested. Like, it's just, he's been having, he's been taking a lot of L's, baby. The latest thing that I'm seeing is 50 Cent. Yo, listen, 50 is the most petty person on this planet and i love it this is the man that if you've ever had beef with him like there's probably some people that we don't even know that he gets at that he had beef with in high school and he still just turns up and gets him every once in a while like i swear to god 50 is that guy and i i love the i love it because i'm i'm kind of that guy in a way but he's so i didn't I'm, until recently i didn't know coyle ray was benzino's daughter uh, apparently they don't have the greatest relationship from what i hear and, and, and 50 Cent decided to recruit her to get her on a TV show because I know he does like power or I don't know exactly. I've not watched it. Tell me if I should in the comments. Maybe I'll check it out. But he's got his own TV show or shows that he's kind of a part of and he's going to recruit her. Now, obviously, it's 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 one of those weird things where it's like she's going to accept it because it's good for her career and she's going to make money and get into acting and it's it's all a benefit. But it's like, is 50 doing it at all because he feels she's actually talented in those areas or is he just doing it because he's like, yo, Benzino. Sorry, it's like, it's wild. And then part of me is like, how old is Coyle Ray? 50 might be trying to smash, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, don't be surprised if all of a sudden a, a, a picture or video comes out where 50 just chilling and lounging with her. Do not be surprised. This man will go to all the lengths. He still gets that Ja Rule. Wasn't it just like a, so many years back he bought like the first so many rows of, of a Ja Rule concert so it'd be empty? I mean, they could obviously just move people up, but the fact they have to do that is hilarious. Like, I love 50. I love 50. Comment what you guys think about this. I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. Part of me is almost scared for Benzino because it's like, listen, when you take this many L's, and some of them aren't L's. Some of them are just perceived L's, worrying about reputation, stuff like that. But when you when you are feeling that way mentally and it's just back to back to back, it's like every day, new information coming out and you just getting got again and again. It's like, bro, I, I don't know what his breaking point is. Some people got a breaking point. Some people don't. So he might not. It might never, you know, but like some people do. I worry about that. I always worry about stuff like that. I can't help it. But I don't know. Comment what you guys think below. I, a lot of this is him doing it to himself. The wife thing, the ex-wife, it's like you ain't with her anymore. Just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the 50 boxing thing, just let it go. People talking about if you dated or didn't date somebody, just let it go. Just focus on your life by you putting more attention on these topics that you don't want attention on. You're having the world and the internet talk about it more. More memes are being made. More videos like this are being made. We're all talking about it because of the fact that you're giving it the attention. If you just let stuff slide under the rug, a lot of times it just, it just kind of dies out. 
I, I don't I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, as I've been telling you guys, I'm, I'm jumping on random topics, but I want you guys to direct it. So if there's some new trending stuff, some old stuff that's popular that you really want to hear my, my opinion on, you want to talk about with somebody, let me know in the comments section, baby. I'm going to come back, check the top comments, and we will dive into some more stuff every Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. We talking about shit from now on. So I appreciate you guys that leave comments, participate, all that stuff that check these videos out. It does mean the world. With that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you next video, homies. I don't care about a struggle. I've been asking for a fight. I need adversity to thrive. I'm trying to crash before the flight. I got a lot of people doubting me. That's just been my life. So I learned to persevere and not react to what they type. It's been a long road coming. But that's just what they write. But it's been feeling like it's real. So I've been asking for my life. Trying to shine until I can. If you ask me, I go twice. But I've been stuck in back the line trying to imagine what it's like. Come on.